Okay, we're going to learn how to play I'll Fly Away on the five-string banjo, three-finger style, basically Earl Scruggs type style. The way I'm going to play this, I'm going to play almost all of the melody notes with my thumb, every now and then one or, or two with my index finger. Uh, melody lies predominantly on strings two, three, and four, and those notes are B, G, and D. We're going to have some other notes that uh, on string two, first fret, that's C, and every now and then on string two, third fret, that's D, just like the first string is also a D. We'll call that high D. And on string three, we have the note A, which is second fret, usually second finger, second fret. And on string four, that's D, we've got E on the second fret. So our notes are D, E, G, A, B. C, D. All right. So, melody note-wise, we've got just open strings to start off with for the melody. We've got second string, third, fourth, third. So, we have B, G, D, G, B, A, B, C, B, A. And then make a C chord and pick the third string. E, two, three. Fourth string, E, D, C chord is off right there. Okay, so then we start over again and we're going to end it slightly differently. B, G, D, G, B, A, B, C, B. Then B, two, three. Make a D7 chord and pick the third string. A, D7 chord off. G, two, three, four. So let's recap that. One, two, three, four. One bright morning when the night is over. I'll two, three, fly away. When I die, hallelujah, by and by, four, I'll two, three, D7, fly away, two, three, four. So that's the A part. Then what you do is you uh, add some extra notes to that. The s simplest thing by far to do would just be pick a couple of notes like that after every melody note. <laughs> I'm picking the outside strings with thumb and middle finger. One right And I'm picking the melody notes a little harder than I'm picking anything else. When to the second half, the B part uh, or chorus, then what we can do is the melody note can be found here on the first string. We have another fretted note that's going to be D, high D, and then the high E. And you can find that same D here on the third, second string, third fret, and double it up. I'm going to be playing both of those notes at the same time. D on the third string, or I'm sorry, D on the second string, and this E on the first string. Back to a C chord. It's exactly like the first half from here on up, the first half with the second ending. So, what we're going to do now is add a few extra notes in there. It's a, just a real simple step from something like that to the inside out roll.
So what I did there is called double thumbing, just picking a melody note with the thumb, followed by a middle finger on the first string. <laughs> you know about the forward roll, so I'm doing a forward roll there. And I'm trying to figure out a way to get out of the forward roll and back into the melody. And I'm going to do that by picking a melody note with my index finger. So, one, five, Now the way I got out of it there is I went on aisle So I was going back and forth for forwards and backwards on just those strings And then I went to inside out So also look for places you can double the note. We doubled D here on the second string, high D, and you can double B here on the fourth fret of the third string. And if you ever want to, you can double G there on the fifth fret of the fourth string. And that allows you to slide into and out of those notes. And of course, you can do hammer-ons and pull-ups. and fancy about it on that chorus, you can do something like throwing in an odd chord, like an F. So you got... <laughs> 